there are three members of the 570 family, and all are set to kick sand in the faces of lesser cars. There's the 570S, the 570S Spider, and the 570 GT. The S models are sportiest, while the GT is for long-distance driving comfort. All have a 562 horsepower twin turbo 3.8 liter V8 mounted behind the cabin. A carbon fiber tub reduces weight and adds strength. A 7 speed dual clutch transmission drives the rear wheels. The S models are marginally quicker to 60 miles per hour, but all have a top speed of 204 miles per hour. The subtle feedback of tugs and twitches coming through the steering wheel with every pavement undulation and nuance change in road surface are vivid enough that an astute passenger will notice the wheels wriggling. This is not standard issue car making, or even supercar making, these days. But McLaren is going countercultural by prioritizing driver involvement, even at sub-race track speeds, something regularly sacrificed across the industry due to ever-increasing horsepower, performance, and weight. While even McLaren succumbs to the siren song of the stopwatch on more expensive wares such as the 720S, the focus on feedback on its lower-priced sports series line of cars, a trio of $200,000 two-seaters that consists of the 570S Coupe, the slightly more practical 570 GT.